Alrighty, this is math time. It's uh, everyday math, lesson 6-7, partial quotients division. Getting quotients answers to division problems. And we're getting part of them. So we get part, 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 and we add them all up, and we get the real quotient. We're on page 206 for your work today um, in your math journal or online. However, for our sample examples, we'll use screen number two, which is the next page, page 207. So turn to page 207 in your math journal, pause the video if you need to, pause it if you need to get online, and then come back and watch this example to see how you do it. Okay, all righty. So first thing, instructions. Estimate. We're gonna write a number model to represent the problem, and then we're gonna use partial quotients to solve it, and write the answer. So here's the problem. A waiter distributed 1,325 drinking straws evenly among nine dispensers. So it's a fast food place or something and they've got those dispensers that you touch to get the straw comes rolling out. He's got a bunch of them. He's got nine of those dispensers and he's gonna evenly divide up the straws. How many straws go into each dispenser? So first off, we're gonna do an estimate. We're going to write down, we're going to round off some numbers here. So, important information, 1,325 drinking straws, nine dispensers. Let's round 1,325 to 1,300. Love those zeros. And let's round nine to, shockingly, ten. So, what times ten would equal 1,300? to be a zero there. Sorry, folks. Well, 13 times 10 would be 130. So 130 times 10 would be 1,300. 13 times 1, and then the two zeros next to it. So our answer should come up to be something like 130 or close to it. Now, the number model with the unknown. Well, you just write the problem. 1,325 divided by nine dispensers. So we've got nine dispensers. How many straws will go into each one? We don't know yet. We'll find out. Next, we write the problem down like a division problem. 1,325. And we're going to find nine equal parts. OK. And then what we do is we draw this line down here because we're going to be doing partial products. We're going to get part answers, and then we're going to add them up. So first off, what times 9 will get rid of as much of this 1,325 as possible that's easy to multiply? Well, 100 is a good start because it's not more than 1,325. It's less. So 100 times 9, shockingly. 900. Okay, we do the subtraction and we get 5 minus 0, 5, 2 minus 0, 2, 13 minus 9, 4. 425 left. Well, what times 9 would get rid of some of that 425? If we did 50, we would get 5 times 9 is 45, but that's too much. So we need something less than that. So let's go with 4 or 40 times 9. 4 times 9 is 336. 40 times 9 is 360. All right. We're getting there. We're almost gotten rid of all of them. So 5 minus 0, 5 again. Uh, borrow. And we get 12 minus 6, 65. Hopefully your writing is neater than mine. Now all we've got is 65 to get rid of. What times 7 is close to 65? Well, if you answered 7 or you looked in your math journal at your times table. So 7, 7 times 9, 63. And all we have left is 2. Well... Nine won't go into two, so we're finished with that. That's going to be a remainder. 
What's our real answer? How many straws go into each of those things? Well, let's add these up. 100 plus 40 plus 7. 147. So our answer is 147 straws into each of the dispensers, but there's a couple straws left over. So how many straws are left over? Well, two. Now, if we were to take this answer and multiply 147 times 9, we would get 1,323 plus the other two. 147 is kind of close to our estimate, and so we are probably correct. Let's go and take a look at um, another problem and another way to solve this. So I'm going to get rid of all of this stuff if I can figure out how. Oh, have you got that all written down? If not, then pause the video and get rid of it because it's going away right now. All right. Number, number six is draw a rectangle and do this. So we're going to take a look at um, for problem five. Wow. Okay. Well, let's go up to problem five. Um, need a pointer to get up there. So there's problem five. The local movie theater sold $2,496 worth of tickets on Friday night. If each ticket cost $8, how many tickets were sold? So it's going to be a division problem with those two numbers. So 2,496 divided by 8. Let's do a rectangle to solve it. So there's my rectangle. Okay, it looks like a plain, plain old rectangle. Inside of it is $2,496. Wow. $2,496. I'm going to erase that because I, I just can't take that. So we've got to have a little bit neater for, hopefully. $2,496. We know that there were $8 a ticket. And so here's our question mark, and we'll call it a uh, question mark, or we can use a letter there, whatever. But we're trying to find out that. So we know that whatever this question mark is, is the number of tickets. And if we were to multiply that we, by 8, we would get, we would get um, 2,496. Well, let's go ahead and just do this off to the side here because it gets a little bit too messy. Let's use a different color just for fun. Okay, and let's start splitting it up. So 8 still goes up here. What times 8 is kind of close to 2,000? 496, or even the 24. See the 24 there? What times 8 is close to that? Well, if you said 3 times 8 equals 24, you're right. And then if we do, but 3 won't do it. We want 2,400, so we need some zeros there. So let's go with 300. 300 times 8 is going to be 24. And then you place those zeros there. Okay. And so 2,496. Wow, that's really sloppy. Minus 2,400. How much do we have left down there to find? Well, 96 left. Okay. What times 8 is close to 96? Um, oh, 10. All right, so let's put a 10 here and do 10 times 8, and that'll get us 80. And so how much is left after we subtract that? 96 minus 80? 16. Well... We like that one because what times 8 equals 16? And if you said 2, you're right. 2 times 8 is 16.
So that takes care of all of our $2,496. If we add the 300, the 10, and the 2 together, we'll find out exactly how many tickets they bought. So 310 plus 2, 312 tickets. Okay, and so our answer is 312. Maybe put a box around it just to make sure we can see it. Alrighty, group, that's how we do it. Those problems on the other page are just like this. Actually, there are a bit fewer numbers. They're in the hundreds, so it should be um, a little bit less challenging. Good luck. Any questions? We have our support meeting from 1 until 2, where you can always email me or text or call or whatever. Alrighty, have a great time with your math. Bye.